Previously on Survivor, 16 new players entered the Bermuda Triangle. Welcome everybody to Survivor Lake Fort. They divided themselves into three tribes, San Juan, Bermuda, and Miami. Meanwhile, Courtney was stranded on exile with the opportunity to claim a powerful advantage in the game. You have one hour to steal a totem from each tribe. If you succeed, you'll earn a major advantage in the game. She successfully stole a token from every tribe's tree mill, earning a new advantage called the Diamond Idol, which grants immunity to every player who receives a vote. However, on San Juan, Austin realized that their token was missing, creating paranoia within the camp. So we'll see if somebody has it. I think somebody does, and I think it's uh, one of the girls. As a precaution, Lindsay began forming alliances with the girls to secure a majority. I'm trying to form a little bit of a girl power alliance because it is three versus two. At Bermuda's camp, Kyle was feeling on the outs as the only guy on a tribe of women. A little worried now, as I'm the only guy. Tensions arose when Leah failed to inform her tribe of their first tree male, leading to suspicions that she had obtained an advantage. My goal is to get her out immediately as possible before she gets to use this advantage, so. Meanwhile, at Miami, Lucas took charge, forming an early alliance with Davis. He's quiet but strong, and I want to see what he's about. Graham alienated himself when he revealed his lack of outdoor experience after an embarrassing performance in the opening challenge. Graham uh, just doesn't know how to set up a tent. He just says it looks like he's never seen it before. At the immunity challenge, San Juan and Bermuda solved their word puzzles first, sending Miami to tribal council. Lucas, Davis, and Graham wanted to target Drew. So you agreed to join Drew. But Brendan, having a secret alliance with Drew, put in work to shift the target onto Graham for his poor challenge performance. This caused Lucas and Davis to become suspicious of Brendan and Drew. He's just wow. trying to play it as slow as he can. He could be someone that could flip. However, at Tribal Council, Lucas and Davis decided tribe strength was more important, blindsiding Graham in a unanimous vote. Graham, tribe is spoken. 15 are left. Who will be voted out tonight? Let's just get out of our heads now that we may not be like the best every time and another yeah. team may have a better way and let's just leech off of that, right? Let's just leech off of that. That's what people didn't survive. Yeah. The tribal, man, tribal was, uh, it was tough. I think what was interesting from the tribunal was the second name that was voted, which was Lucas's name. I, I, I said it from the beginning that uh, I think Lucas is strategizing a lot and I think like he came up to me, he's come up to a lot of other people and I think that makes people distrustful of him. I don't want to reveal until I have to. I want to keep things close to my chest. I think he's going to make a good tool. Uh, a guy like that, he, he wants to lead, and I say, I say let him lead. What is this? Oh, all his spider webs. I thought this said treadmill at first. <laughs> it was very straightforward. I feel like the four guys were pretty on par with one another and what we were going to do, although, Pretty surprised to see my name in there. That throws a wrench into things. I thought it would for sure be Drew. Um, so I don't know how my name got tossed in that ring and how it got planted in the grand brain. Somebody did it. I don't know. The relationship between Drew and Brandon is kind of freaking me out because one of them, I mean, I just can't imagine it's Davis. So one of them threw my name into that ring. I just didn't think my name was being thrown around at all. I just have to, to rethink my relationship with, with Drew and with Brandon. I, I feel as if Davis is good, but you know, you can never, you can never trust, trust no one. I want to get to the bottom of it.
I think I think a, a lot of challenges. It's like you start very fast and you realize pretty quickly. Yeah, like, what the right move. So is. we gotta make sure the next game, like we think about it strategically mm -hmm. instead of just like, you know what I mean. At the first challenge, it was kind of a mix, like a relay, and Drew and I felt really dumb for a while because we couldn't figure out the puzzle. And then it just clicked in my brain. So I started screaming and trying to put those pieces down as quickly as possible before the other team. Once I figured out the word, I feel like I've proved myself as an um, asset to the team. Yeah, it's crazy well, to me that because- Well, really fast. Yeah. Or Anna yeah. has a lot of endurance. <laughs> how, many, how many more times do you think you can do that though? I can do that again. Okay. She worked her ass off this last challenge. And so um, she's a valuable player. She's definitely gonna be a threat at some point. Um, but right now, as a team, she's very valuable. I think too, if did they get, I think oh, they if I would have kept up with the mud in the cup, we probably could have gotten. What did you just say? Mud in the cup. So I was the runner, and I had to run up and down the hill, getting kind of dark. There were some holes and some bushes. Um, so, but the competitive spirit kicked in, and I was like, I'm not going to stop running. So I was squeezing my shorts and everything else to get in the bucket. Yeah. So I actually went to a cave. Um, and didn't bring a headlamp, and Oops. some kind woman let me borrow this Aww. cheapo one from her. So Aww. now I have two. That's really nice. Well, yeah, don't go to a cave without a headlamp. Where? Um, uh, I think I gave maybe not 110 percent, but at least 100. I lived in Arizona this summer, so it was in Flagstaff. It was it cold? The lava tubes. So they're caves that have been built out from molten lava, like, oh, that's swept cool. through. Oh, that is yeah, cool. and it's like one of the things you should do to, in Arizona in the summer because it's only 40 degrees. <gasps> I'm not worried about being seen as a weak leak at all. I think everyone respected my endurance. I wonder what the temperature is right now. I don't know, but it feels worse here than Arizona, bets? let me tell you. It's all right, we're doing Price is Right rules. Okay. If you go over, you're disqualified. What do we think the temperature okay. is? Okay. Oh, I have to go first. 87. 91. 95. 92. I'm gonna go high. I'm gonna go 96. Dang. Really? Yeah. Just gotta take it away from you. 91. So yeah! You say, what did you say? So 91! I hate, I got an under two. 87? <laughs> For Sean, just tough. Near the end, I started to get really, really worried um, because we did fall so far behind. It was frustrating to watch Drew and Jackie work on the puzzle. Um, when I solved it a little bit sooner than they did, I really respected how hard Anna worked. So she, at the end of that challenge, I, it was clear to me that like uh, that she and I were the kind of the workhorses and, and should should be the ones that stayed. I think we have some time. Okay, I'm gonna warn y'all. Wet socks right here. Where? That's awesome. I hung mine. You might hang them on a tree. That's oh, okay. of mine. That is hysterical. <laughs> We are literally living in the wilderness. Okay, that tree is not going to be load-bearing for all of that. That is hilarious. Load-bearing tree. That's such an engineering thing to say. I'm sorry, can someone help me find the... Here, here's this. Yahoo! It's you look like you just ran through, like, a triathlon. I don't even know. What is that called? I mean, called? Well, I've been here for how long? Just a couple run? hours. Scratches all oh. over my, like... I have rocks in my eyes. <laughs> I was so proud of our team. It's too easy to tell if there's any weak links. It's too early, not easy. It's too early to tell if there's any weak links. <laughs> I feel like it's not, it's like pointless because I'm covered in mud. Maybe just the healing minerals of the mud. I feel little. bad that like we just were like down there solving the puzzle. Like, <laughs> you see how red they are? Okay. Ow, it burns! Oh, yeah. We have some great camaraderie right now. We, we're just assessing, like, I think we've all been really honest with each other. Like, we each didn't cause any detriment to the team and we each brought what we could and, like, we handled our own. Um, I think there are ways that we can improve, but we're all willing to work together. I think right now, nobody really has the upper hand. I didn't know you had so many tattoos. Yeah, I have four. So cool. cool. Yeah, we have a very honest, um, honest group, like very open group. No one, no shady work. Kyle. What's up? Uh, we strategize at some point. What if we have to vote someone off? One thing that I think kind of did develop towards the end of the game was 
when me and Jackie were at the bottom and kind of realized more that we could be on the chopping block, um, we began to start to talk about an alliance of kind of what that would look like, of who would be first voted off. <laughs> Let's go, boys. I don't know. Drew and I uh, were down at the puzzle together, and uh, we were super excited at the beginning because we were winning. And then when we started not winning, we uh, made our own alliance. Um, so we've decided that she and I are going to be our core alliance team, and we're going to um, try to make it to the end together. And honestly. I feel like I can trust her. I'm a little bit nervous about, I feel like Anna may make, be making an alliance with Kyle. Um, so I'm a little skeptical of that. So I'm not trusting anyone just yet, but trying to be on everyone's good side so that they keep me around. Oh, <laughs> Honestly, I, mean, I was fucking with Anna, and I was like, I really respect how hard she worked. Oh, a so million percent, yes. I was like... I think Anna is ready to have an alliance with Kyle, and maybe they do have one, but it seems like everyone's being really transparent, and everyone's being really encouraging to each other. So, maybe I'm just completely, like, pie in the sky, ignorant to everything, but right now I'm like, no, we're good. Like, we're just gonna keep trying to win. I, I think there was like initial like some fear. <laughs> uh, not because I'm afraid of women. I love women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I think it, if it did come that we had lost the first challenge, um, that it would have been, I would have been an easy target. So thankfully we did not. So I'm excited for more challenges. I think we make a good balance of strengths. Um, I was worried about being the only guy, but seems like everyone on the team sees that as an asset um, that being an only guy is, that is kind of keeps me in a safe spot and so hopefully if we do lose a challenge they see my assets that I can bring. Um, the masculine energy. Yeah I don't know how much of that I really have. <laughs> Talks of potentially get Leah out because she might have an advantage. Leah was the first to read the tree mail and didn't really announce that that had come and was of odd and how she del delivered that information and she was telling us what we were to do but not really announcing where that information had come from and so uh, Anna started asking questions and got a hold of the original tree mail and noticed that the bottom had been torn which made her suspect that she might have taken an advantage from the bottom um, I don't know if that's just Anna being paranoid but at this point it's all speculation and that's all anyone really knows also, real talk, y'all, if anybody is feeling dehydrated, we need to use the electrolytes before it happens rather than after it Smart. happens. True. So I've, if anybody's like even like, wait, wait, I don't know. Oh, is that what they gave us in that little thing? Yeah, I think so. I think Jackie and I are getting along pretty well, so we'll see about that. And I also want to keep Kyle on the team because I think he's a strong asset and, you know, he's on the outs right now in our team. And so I want to bring him back in. I feel like he'll say, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Scorpion, Scorpion. Oh, Leah, right Where? there. Leah, come step on this oh scorpion. Gosh, oh my gosh, get it off. Oh my gosh. I'm just nervous it's gonna pop back up. I like, know, where'd it, it go? I have no problems with her as a teammate. I think she's super encouraging, works well with everyone. What are we looking for? She thought a scorpion went in her bag. I'm still just hesitant about the paper she tore off. So Jackie and I kind of have an understanding that when we need to cut her off, it's gonna have to be a blind size. Oh, don't be touching it. Don't be touching it. If I get bit by a scorpion, what would happen? They stink. Um, honestly, it, it would, would hurt. And so because I've been the most vocal about it, I'm probably the second person under the gun if she finds out that we're on to her. So I have to be very careful about how I do go after her if I do go after her. I'd go to the hospital. It's 10 miles away. It is 10 miles away. We looked about... <laughs> Jump, it up. We did. Just don't like really think you're going to go to the hospital. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about anybody else and us being like... Oh. Are you sure? I just watched something given here. It might have been a spider. Maybe. I'm not afraid of spiders. She's a really positive attitude at camp, 
which is why it concerns me because I really don't want to vote her off. But if she has an advantage, we can't have that. So mistakes were made. We can Guys, build look. one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. That's kind of sick, actually. Oh! Yeah. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. I love my tribe. They're amazing. They're great. Like, I just feel like we mesh really well together. <laughs> Once we found out we were gonna, gonna get wet, everyone was trying to figure out okay, who wants to get wet, all the different things. So we head down there. I was okay with getting wet. At first I was a little like, I don't really want to get wet, but like I will, I guess. And then I was like, you know, it is the game and I'm gonna win. So like, we're gonna get wet. I think if we stick together and we work really hard together, I think we'll make it all five of us till, until we merge. I came out here to win, so let's win. Oh, oh, here's our hammock. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo! So we won some hammocks. Excited about that. We don't really have a ton of trees around our cabin, though. So curious to see what that looks like. And then we also got our in our tree mail, I think our new challenge. The Good. sun will soon begin to set. Really? But before, <laughs> but before the day is through, one tribe will fall off its perch. It better not be you. Oh. Again? No. Hey, yo. Fall off its perch? <gasps> is it like chicken in the pool? Mm. There's no way. My guess is I'm thinking it's like a balance game, but I'm not 100% sure. So. I kind of feel like Allison, she's small, petite. She can just carry her weight really well. I think she would dominate. I guess we'll see when we head down there. Does that mean like have to do another tribal council? Or does it Probably mean like- some like balance challenge or something like that. Yeah. Mm. Is it like we lose our bedding for the night? Oh, who's good at balancing? No. I'm I mean, I'm Kirk, you're good. <laughs> what do you mean? You've never seen me balance. There is this test that you can do for balance. I don't know if somebody wants to try it out, but basically yeah. you just like have to stand on one foot mm -hmm. and then <laughs> and then, and then try to like look at the back of your heel. Of which heel? The up heel? Um, yeah, so you look at your right heel and then you'll put your hands like this and then you gotta look back however long. You can hold it, you'll oh, be good. Okay. So you have to look at your eyes. I think Kirk shoulder? looks so cute. <laughs> 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 you know? I think we're still kind of on the high of the wind. We're just hanging out, enjoying uh, talking and getting to know each other. Um, so yeah, we're, we're feeling good. Our strategy is hopefully just to keep winning until we get to the merge, and that way we are going into the merge with alliances already. Um, so we're gonna try really hard to win just so that we can stay together as a team. Would it be that obvious? I mean, I guess they have done pretty obvious before. Yeah. You yeah. see the, that thing that's over there, there was uh, the tassel on it, but it's not there, so. Okay, I wanna know what the hi hidden immunity idol is for our team because we have been having a discussion. We lost a little orange tassel thing that was on our tree mail clipboard. It was a little orange tassel. And I do not think in any way, shape or form that was the idol. Do we really so think it was that thing on the thing? I don't know. Maybe I don't, I'm just well, paranoid. Well, we were talking about it. Like, the, the, there must have been a person. Maybe I just need to go take a long a person, walk in the woods and see what I find. <laughs> <laughs> but. but none of us have seen it. Well, claim. Not, so, and I don't think anybody's a good enough liar. Low key. Sorry, but so I think it might be a bust and not even anything exciting. But everyone's been wondering if that's our hidden immunity idol. So, who knows? Like just leaving it on the ground is disrespectful to <laughs> the beauty of San Juan. <laughs> exactly. Where, where do you want to put it? Basically the American we, we gotta do some decorating. Dig a hole right here. Careful with the board. Oh, <gasps> Austin's great, but if I had to choose, that's kind of like what my, my gut's telling me. Cause I, I, I figured that like we could maybe get like a girl tribe kind of going. And I feel like Kirk could hop in with that. Strategy right now is honestly just vibe. Vibe with the tribe. It yeah. should hold. Just nobody try to dig a hole with it again. <laughs> Noted. Noted. I think the person I need to look out for is Lindsay. I know she, big survivor gal. Are you I just like forever like a Sandra fanatic. Like ah, the, queen the queen will live on. Well, she was really dumb in the winners that well, were. I know, but so. you know, you were great. <laughs> and has kind of been saying that she wants to stir the pot a little bit, create chaos. I like chaos, blah, blah, blah. I know, you're right! <laughs> I literally know things. Yes. Right now! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Where is the idol? <laughs> Show it to me. Where is it? I'm not joking. Where is it? I don't know. Okay. If she wants to actually start doing that, then we just be like, eh, we don't need that in our camp and get rid of her. Is stealing them a thing? Like, if, if I find, find it, it in one of y'all's bags. Yeah, you can take it for sure. I'd more just like out. Should we all like, our Look. Bags? I definitely like to cause a little bit of chaos. Makes it more fun. So there was a house <laughs> and it was just like kind of a small <laughs> shed and uh -huh. it was purple no. with like blue shutters. Wait, wait, no. I've been there. And the one of the windows was broken out. Shut up. And they had no, we had no idea who lived there. Oh. And we would play with all the other like kids in the neighborhood, but no one ever came out of that you house. You had friends when you were younger? I know, it's a shock. So, only one. I think Kirk is probably definitely my biggest threat in the long-term game. He's like very likable, very sociable, um, and knows what he's doing, and he's pretty athletic too. So, I'm playing at the same spot that I was before. I can just like, I know that the house is there, and I feel it again. Just that like, eyes on the back of your neck. Just like you prickle all over, you freeze. So then it's, I was getting up to walk away again, and I heard a voice, and it was, a, I don't know why, but I just stopped and listened. And it said, You don't have to go home. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this. I, I feel like I'm taking too much power. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like I've been doing a lot, and I don't want to feel overbearing or like a threat so that people try to vote me out. My strategy was going to be playing dumb and being like, I don't really know what's going on. And yeah, that didn't work because I'm just prideful as a sinful person. So <laughs> anyways, I think now the strategy is to kind of play mid game of like, everyone needs my help, but also like everyone doesn't feel like I'm a threat. Like they see that like I'm valuable to them, but like that they can still beat me. But my, my, my own nature sometimes comes out like competitive and like wanting to like direct people. So I need to rein it in so that I don't overbear. It's the strat. Oh, there's so many so Wait, kill them all. Okay. Kirk seems like our strongest player right now. And I say that because not only like, like he's got some of that physical strength, but he's also really good at word puzzles and just like stuff like that. And that really is a strength, especially when it comes to um, immunity challenges and you know going forward he's also super social people like him it's just it, it's easier like that yeah I'm genuinely being for else when I said wait we have to vote each other off if we lose <laughs> I was like okay so funny story actually I actually didn't realize that we as our team vote people out I thought it was other teams vote other people out so I literally just found that out tonight so I'm a little in shock right now. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get there. We're not getting this. Charity, like, she didn't even know that we vote each other out. Um, so she could easily be blindsided, probably. Very interesting. Come on in, guys. Welcome, San Juan. <laughs> All right, San Juan and Bermuda tribes getting your first look at the new Miami tribe. Graham voted out as the last tribal council. All right, and now bringing in Courtney from Exile, who will be joining the Miami tribe. Courtney, tell us a bit about how it was. It was a little lonely. Yeah. I'm really happy to be back. Yeah. Well, basically happy to start, <laughs> so it'll be fun, I'm excited. Alrighty, good to hear. Okay, so, once again, immunity is back up for grabs. I will take back immunity. Thank you, thank you. Okay, again, you want to win these. Two tribes will win this challenge. How it's gonna work is you are going to send one member from your tribe up at a time to stand on the perch. You are going to hold both ropes and you're going to try to pull someone else off their perch. The last person remaining on a perch wins a point for their tribe. The first tribe to three points wins immunity. Once one tribe has won, they will be sitting out of the challenge and the other two tribes will continue until one of them has three points. All right, I'll give you all a minute to strategize and we'll get started. 
probably the strongest. So I don't think you can go first. I think you go second or third as a clutch factor. Yeah. The biggest thing was like you can't outstrain the guy. Yeah. But hopefully if you can get him to like yank card. Yeah. But you can't let go of the rope. So yeah, like make sure that like if you give him a little slack, don't let go. Yeah. The other one is a kind of like stagger it and like put like stronger in the middle and kind of like. Mm -hmm. All righty. I'm gonna get out of the blast zone. But everyone, get on your perches. Grab your ropes. You can wrap. You can wrap. You cannot tie. All right. In five seconds, the challenge is off. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, point for Miami. Drew has won that challenge in an instant. All right. In three, two, one. Davis is off. All right, Austin wins a point for San Juan. All right. We'll reset. All right. In three, two, one. Allison's off. Drew's off. A second before Lucas. That was so good. Let's go, Brandon. We got it. We got it. Kurt, Kurt. One more in Miami. All right. Two, one. No. All right. With that, Brandon has won immunity for Miami. Miami, you are safe. So now it's just. <laughs> okay, in three, two, one. Oh, Charity has touched the ground. Jackie was a point. Okay, I will count you down. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Lindsay pulls Leah off. San Juan gets a point. It is now 2-1. Bermuda must win this point or they are going to tribal. All right. It is man versus man. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Kyle pulls Austin off. We are tied. It comes down to this point. It is Allison versus Drew. It all comes down to this. The loser is going to try them. All right, I'm going to count you down. Five, four, three, two, one. Allison wins. Drew falls off. Sending Bermuda to tribal council. Congratulations, Miami. You are not going back to tribal. Come on, Thank you. Thank you on a good tribe. <laughs> All right. San Juan, congratulations again. You are safe once again. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Miami tribe, you can head back to camp. San Juan, y'all can head back to camp. All right, for me, tribe, unfortunately for y'all, we got nothing for you. I'm going to see you at tribal council shortly. So head back to camp, strategize, and I'll see you a little bit. Literally, for the challenge, you had to balance on these, like, two by fours, plywood. It wasn't plywood. And, like, 
pull the string and pull people off of it. And that one boy named Drew like literally yanked my arm out of the socket because I went first just to like assess the situation. Big mistake, it hurt very bad. We definitely didn't have the upper hand in that challenge. I certainly didn't. That challenge wasn't made for me. <laughs> but you could tell that we we're all like, crap, now we have to like actually choose someone to kick out. And I think none of us want to do that, but we're figuring it out. I'm pissed. I'm proud of us for trying. So my first round, I lost, but I was against one of the boys, Lucas, and I, it was between me and him at the very end, and I lost by a second. So I felt confident going into the second round where I was against Allison and my timing was poor <laughs> and um, I leaned too much on my feet and I fell forward. So the second round, I don't feel good about and I'm, but it's okay. <laughs> if everyone says what I think is going on, I'm safe, but I could totally be wrong because technically, like I said, I was the last person that lost us the challenge so I could be viewed as like the weakest link. Uh, I'm gonna get water if anyone wants to go and talk strategy. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, it's like there's no easy way to do it. We have to yeah, decide. I guess so, that's true. If, if anyone yeah. wants to come. Okay, I am kind of low, so I'll let fate decide that for me. Alright. So, going in this tribal, I, I think I'm in the safest spot on the tribe. It, it feels weird to say that, uh, and, I'm, and I'm a little paranoid about it, but I'm getting assurances. Um, from pretty much everyone in the tribe that they, they value the, <laughs> the attributes I bring as the only male in the tribe. So what I initially thought as a weakness is it's going to benefit me. I'm like really not adamant about any particular like individual. You're actually in a good spot no. right now. The goal is to potentially target Leah because she might have an advantage. In the end you have to pick somebody and, and Leah was suspicious enough with the first tree male that we think that she has an advantage, and so that seems like it might be enough to, to cast votes her way. <laughs> I don't know what to Y'all, I'm going home, for sure. No, that's how I, I feel. That's I feel, I feel like right I now. like I feel like I should be sent home. <laughs> this is horrible, because now I have a, like an attachment to all of y'all. You know that if we all voted for one person, we would all be safe. When Kyle and Anna went to get water, um, Drew kind of brought up making a three alliance uh, with Leah. I love Anna, but she's a threat. She is a threat she is a for threat. the future. And she, 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 and I feel like I know that she's an asset, but we need her. Like on the real, we, we would need all her. be safe. If we voted for I do feel bad. And I do too. She worked her ass off that But hey, that's guaranteed that we're she, Anna is a really big threat. So I'm kind of trying to form a core alliance that I'll like, stick with throughout the rest of the game. It's just a matter of determining which side that alliance is going to be on. So what do we tell Leah? We tell Leah that if you pitch me to Leah, She's not gonna believe you. Oh, for sure, especially now that I'm here. I think we have to pitch. I think we have to get Jackie and prove that we have. We can either do a prove we have majority. It's either you or Drew, mm -hmm. and put them against each other. But then she knows to play her advantage. And I think they can tell that Jackie and I have already gotten connected. So I'm not in a really good spot to do anything but vote for Leah or Drew, and I don't really have anything else I can do. Everyone's just paranoid. It's the first vote out, so no one knows what to do. Um, I think a lot of names are being thrown around. And I'm worried about myself just because I've been really competitive, um, but I don't think people are looking that far into the game quite yet to get rid of that, but we'll see. I think we say Jackie then, and then put Pitch Lee at both of them. Is that a scorpion? That's a scorpion. I mean, personally, my vote is already towards Leah, I think, because she has some sort of advantage, and I think most people are on that wavelength, so we're thinking a couple steps down the line. So, assuming I don't get tripped at the first step, I'm in a really good spot. She's, she's gonna end up voting one of us out, because her and Kyle are building something. Yeah. I can tell you that right yeah. now. 
They are. So either we Kyle's team up been, against them Kyle's because they're both stronger competitors. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So underdog? Seriously. Yeah, I said I'm we're so the underdog. Straight, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't I'm, be lying behind my back. No, I'm straight. I don't know. I don't know. Else. Like, I would just put myself up. It'd either be her or me. Either That's the good. biggest threat or the least. That's what I'm saying. This is my truth. This is my complete truth. If it would have remained silent and nobody else tried to like form an alliance, I think I would have just told everyone to just send me home because I feel so bad sending someone home. Like, I think I would have just been like, y'all, like, it's fine. Just send me home. It's all good. But lucky for me, someone decided to um, whisper in a little, a little alliance over on the side with me. And I was like, okay. Done deal. No, same. That's how I feel too. So either we team up or they're so, gonna just get us out later on. Right now it's Drew, Jackie, and I voting against Anna because she's so good, and we're like, you know, we, we you got to get rid of the people that I also probably know that Anna probably wants to vote me or Drew out. Yeah, we're over here. Hey. Hi. Who goes? Oh. Uh, Kyle and Anna. Oh. Okay. I was updating her. Great. Yeah. So I need to have a conversation with her. Great. So we should not look like this right now. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Let's let us wall to us two so it looks like we're talking. Okay. So I'm going right to make... Because what we're doing is we're convincing me we're voting for you. Okay. Right? Is that... The, that was the plan? And then we're all voting for her. And then we're all voting for her. Who are you voting for? Anna. No. Who are oh. you telling her? Anna. Okay. Yeah. Who is like your ideal three? Probably you, Drew, and me. Yeah. She eventually did because I kept asking questions. I was like, they just said nothing to you. Nothing, yeah, yeah, really. Exactly. I'm like, I don't believe that one second. Don't get Anytime it's a group of three, we're talking to the other. Yeah. Two, so. I know. Be for I real. This. Be for real. I didn't realize how much the paranoia generally does set in. It's like, oh my god. But I did, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel like, like worst case scenario, the they won't let any tribe get below three. Anyhow. You have to think forward, but you also have to watch your back. Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely a chance that my name will be voted, and that is really sad to me. It's like, it kind of hurts my feelings. I was literally in mud. Yeah. Nobody you had the me. worst mud. And like, like, I'm like... You got hit in the face with the... Uh, yeah, so I'm like... You can send me home because you think... You know, like, but... You don't even know who or what you're sending home. The first one, they're definitely going for her. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Drew and I decided that we were going to not betray each other. We kind of grown attached to each other almost. Uh, we got to spend the last time hanging out and we worked hard on the first one. So kind of just trying to figure out who to vote off. They weren't sure if they wanted to bring you in on it. And I was like, no, yeah. I think we should. Like, yeah. we might as well. Yeah. And I was like, the problem with that is whoever she votes for gets voted off. Anna and Kyle think that me and Jackie are voting for Leah. So it's getting a little spicy. I'm a little nervous about voting out Anna because Kyle, I feel like, isn't going to trust us. So I'm kind of going back and forth whether or not I keep with an alliance with Jackie and Leah, or I do vote Leah out if she has an immunity idol or something. Oh, no. I think they want to go for Leah because they want to blind them. So I don't really trust her. Welcome Bermuda to your first tribal council. Take a seat. Welcome to the ritual of tribal council. In this game, fire represents your life. When your fire is gone, so are you. Okay, so Bermuda, unfortunate to be seeing you here right now. That challenge was extremely close. I'm sure y'all are feeling that victory slip through your fingers. Drew, you, it all came down to you at the end. It was you versus Allison. So how did that go? Are you surprised that you lost that matchup? Yes, um, I'm extremely upset. <laughs> um, but it just came down to, I think that first round that I had gone, 
um, I was up against her and then Lucas and I that came down to you know a, a moment and so I think going into the second one I was a little maybe too confident and so I was trying to and then with the pressure of it all I was trying to get my timing right and I ended up just leaning forward into her and so her knocking me over yeah very frustrated but um, kind of feeling a little bit more of a fire. <laughs> really so you feel a little bit of pressure on you because of that? Yeah for sure. It's tough being the last person because most people here lost a round. You just happen to be the last one. Right, the spotlight is definitely on. Yeah. All right, Anna, are you thinking similarly? Do you think challenge performance is gonna affect the decision tonight or is it more based on someone else? It all just depends on how people think. I can't look into any of their brains. I think team chemistry is still very strong. I don't think that anybody is playing the blame game. Um, even with the other challenge, yes, we squeaked by, but we still had issues and different people had issues, but we kind of all hashed it out together and said, hey, everybody did the best they could with the role they had. And so I feel pretty confident that as a team, we have good chemistry to honestly keep winning post this. And it was just an unlucky game that had like few strategies that you could figure out in time before the game was over. So. Yeah, y'all did the best you could, and it's just tough the way the matchups worked out. Um, Leah, so what was the vibe like back at camp? Were y'all pretty calm about it? Does it seem like a pretty obvious decision, or were people off in pairs and just strategizing? There definitely was a shift because like Anna said, we have such great team chemistry and we all really value each other and value what we each bring to this game. So we just kind of had to be honest with each other. We're like, we're just gonna have to divide because also like what Anna said, it's, it's not a matter of a, a weakest link. It's just a matter of what is it going to boil down to and that I'm not sure. Kyle, you, on first glance, are a pretty obvious person who stands out. You're the only guy on this track. Yeah. Yeah, so how has that been? Do you feel kind of on an island or do you feel like pretty integrated with the group? So I, yeah, when that first, the tribes first shook out, I was pretty nervous. Um, I think about halfway through the first challenge, whenever, the other two teams finished their bucket and we we're still going. I'm like, I'm going home. Um, but, you know, since then, I think we really do have good team chemistry. Uh, I feel like I am part of the team and, and I think everyone sees that, like, strengths I bring from a different perspective. Um, so I feel a lot better now than I did a few hours ago. Okay, yeah, Jackie. So do you think this decision is gonna come down to really individuals playing for themselves or do you think most people are thinking about this is how can we strengthen the team moving forward? I mean, I think in the end people are playing for themselves. I don't know, um, but in the end there's one winner and not five. It'd be nice if there was five because I think as a team we would win because um, we do have great team chemistry, but it is a right. With that, it is time to vote. Jackie, you're up. Nothing personal, it's just a rumor that you might have uh, an advantage, and at this point, that's all it takes to go home. Okay, this is the thing. I feel terrible. <laughs> the girl I'm about to vote for loves this. <laughs> she's so passionate and she's so good at it, but she has got to go. Leah, Leah, sorry, it's gonna be you. All right, I'll go tell the boys.
Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. If anyone has a hidden mini idol and you'd like to play it, now is the time to do so. All right, I'll read the votes. First vote. Anna. Leah. Leah. Two votes Leah, one vote Anna. Anna. Two votes Anna, two votes Leah, one vote Leah. Second person voted out of Survivor Lake Fork, Bermuda Triangle. Anna. Anna, tribe is spoken, please bring your torch. Anna, tribe is spoken. Happy to go. You have made your first decision, and it was not a unified one. We'll see if you can get that team cohesiveness back. You might need it for the next challenge. All right, head back to camp. Honestly, not surprised. I was playing super hard and these people are not ready for it yet, honestly. And there's people who know each other, which is a super terrible disadvantage to be at. Um, would definitely recommend getting people who are actually unique participants, um, because I already knew I was going to be at a disadvantage because of that. So, a little disappointed, but also they are keeping someone around who clearly has an advantage that rips something off the paper and they're all going to regret that when she's walking around with that advantage, so... I'm not ashamed of the way that I played, um, and I know that I was hauling my ass during the challenge, our first challenge, and so they're going to miss that when they need that on a challenge and people aren't willing to step up. So personally, I have no qualms with how I played the game. Is there someone that you're kind of rooting for, either on your tribe or another one, kind of going no, forward? No, I don't know any of these people, so I don't particularly <laughs> care how anyone does, honestly. Cool. Yeah, we're good. Thanks. Yep. I'm really sorry, Anna. You're a hard worker, and I wish you could stay, but you're just too big of a threat. It's nothing personal. There's just a rumor that you might have uh, an advantage, and at this point, that's all it takes to go home. Okay, this is the thing. I feel terrible. <laughs> the girl I'm about to vote for loves this. <laughs> she's so passionate and she's so good at it. But she has got to go. <laughs> Shove it myself. Leah, Leah, sorry it's gotta be you. Anna, you played a good game, but I don't trust you and you're a threat. We did it! A hey, unit! We're never losing. Next time on Survivor. It could be to my advantage that I am the only girl. Our first legit Miami mommy. She is convinced you had some sort of advantage. Both of your tribes are going to go back to one camp, and the two people with the most votes at Tribal Council will be eliminated.